Hey guys, it's Duke Proof Games or Adam, and welcome to my setting up guide here on Shadows of Evil. And this is a video I completely forgot to do when Black Ops 3 first came out. But here I am showing you how I like to set up here on Shadows of Evil. And I'm not saying that this is the best way to set up on Shadows. This is just what I like to do. And this video, of course, is going to be showing you how I do all my rituals and uh, what order I buy my perks in, what what weapons I get, all that stuff, so I get to the point where I'm set up to go for the high round, all right? So, here we are in the starting room, round one. The first thing we're gonna do right off the bat is we're gonna go ahead and open up this door, because we really want to do as much as we can in beast mode. That's really the goal with every single beast mode, is to do as much as you can. So, you gotta be quick with this. So what we're gonna do right off the bat, go over here, we're gonna go ahead and break that. I had a little bit of trouble there, we're gonna zap, quick revive. Go there, break that open. We're gonna go ahead and get that first thing done. We're gonna go up here, and we're gonna go ahead and open up this door. Now, this isn't some crazy speed run. Uh, I, I'm, I am gonna have a video on how to uh, actually open up the Pack-a-Punch on round one, but I'm kind of like perfecting my strategy on that right now. Um, but this isn't a speed run or anything like that. This is just a casual setting up guide. That is it. So we're gonna go ahead and kill off uh, all but one zombie here on round one. And then we're going to go ahead. We'll pick up this ritual as well. Not yet. We're not going to pick it up yet. We're going to wait. It's going to wait till we leave one guy. And then we're going to go ahead and pick that up. All right. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead, pick up the pen. And uh, we can go. If you, if you want, you can lead these guys up uh, to the ritual room. To me, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and knife those guys. And uh, pretty much this first step really here is just to do the first ritual. The goal in setting up really is to get those rituals done ASAP. And uh, you actually do get points for completing these rituals. So we're going to go ahead and complete this first ritual right here. And uh, after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the round. And we're going to, uh, we're going to just kill the zombies on round two and leave one zombie. And also, I want to buy it quicker five, but really this, what we're focusing on, of course, is this first ritual. So there we go. We got our first gate worm here, which is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and grab quicker revive, And I'm just going to quickly kill off these zombies here on uh, round two. And I'll leave one zombie, and I'll see you guys when that is completed. All right, so I got one zombie left here on round two, and I forgot to mention that you should pick up the Fumigator, and you can go ahead and harvest these pods here early on. Because you can get points from it, you can get drops, and I got this RK5, which is a pretty much a free gun, so that's always good. So, where do you go next? Now, this is pretty much really in, up to you, because I'm going to show you how to do each section, uh, but it's really up to you where you want to go first. Uh, I like to go where Jug is first, but since Jug is in the Canal District... I'm not going to go there first. I hate doing the canal district. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and start at the footlight district just because I can do the footlight district really quickly. And we have double tap too, which is something we do want. So I'm going to go ahead and do this really, really quickly. What you want to do, grapple up here right away. As you're kind of falling down, try to zap it if you don't hit it, whatever. Get double tap turned on. We'll go ahead and knock this crate over. Then jump back over here. And what you can do is actually grapple right up here. And you can zap this. And you can pretty much open up everything with one beast mode, which is really nice. And uh, we can go ahead and grab that right now. And we don't really have too many points. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to see if there are some paws around here that I can actually uh, harvest. And I could possibly get enough to open up the door. If not, that's totally okay with me. I'll just wait another round. Like I said, guys, this is not a speed run. I will be, like I said again, I'll be posting a speed run. Uh, this is just my casual setting up here on uh, Shadows of Evil. And of course, I got no pods to harvest. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave one zombie at the end of round three. All right, guys, so we have one zombie left here on round three. We're going to go ahead and open up this door so we can complete the second ritual. 
And this is good because we're going to get points from completing the ritual. And also the Margua is going to spawn in. The first of two Marguas is going to spawn in. So we'll get a good amount of points from that. And that's going to allow us to go ahead and open up another section. And uh, we can complete some more rituals. So it, it, it works pretty well, right? So this is just running around here. Um, and uh, we'll have to deal with the Margua once this guy spawns in. And you, you really do want to have Jug <laughs> uh, when you're doing this. But if you want to try to get done a little bit quicker, not getting Jug is probably the best thing. Just because... You can use those points to open up districts and just get things done and over with. Let me grab this gate worm real quick. And I want to go ahead and take out the Margo's head ASAP so he starts sprinting. So he's not as slow as the damn zombie because I do want to leave that zombie. Alright, look, we already have 2,700 points. Awesome. I'll kill the fly. Go ahead, take out his second head. The first Margo, super easy to kill. If you want to use just the Bloodhound, you can. Uh, but, like I said, I picked up this RK5 from the pod, so whatever. There we go. Easy. 3,800 points. Actually, it's still points. I might as well grab that. Grab the Margo heart as well. If you don't get it the first time, whatever. You have so many uh, other Margos you're going to kill, so don't even worry about it. But... If you remember, pick up the Margoa heart right away. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and open up the waterfront district. And uh, if everything goes smoothly, we should be able to open up everything with one beast mode. So let's go ahead and see how this works. you got to be fast with this. So I hate when that grappling thing doesn't show up. All right, first thing, zap, speed cola, zap the stairs. I actually did that wrong. You're supposed to zap the stairs first and then speed cola. Uh, all right, now go over here, grapple up there really quick, hit the box, jump across. This is going to be close. If I don't get it here, that's totally fine. It's going to be really close. Oh gosh, I don't know if we got that. We have to check. If we don't, that's totally fine, but I hope we did because I was in the animation. I'm going to go ahead and open up this door right here. So round three, hopefully we have this done. Because if we do, we can go ahead and move on to the uh, canals and maybe get that done. So let's see if I opened this bad boy up. Did I? No, I did I really thought I got it that time. So if you don't get it, you got to be quick. Don't do what I did there. What you have to do is you actually have to zap speed cola or no, the stairs first then go to speed cola because when you then come back to the stairs it will be already open so make sure you zap the stairs first and then go grab speed cola we still do have uh a beast mode so that's still pretty good all right so let's go ahead and do our third ritual and then we can move on to the canals district i don't know exactly how many points we do get from doing the rituals i never even look so now I'm going to pay attention on how much points I get. So I have 1,800 right now, or 1,880. And we'll see how many points we get. Crap. This is probably one of the worst rooms. I always seem to down in this one specific room. It's so annoying. And it takes a long time. These damn rituals. Come on, bruh. Come on. Thank you. All right, there we go. Gateworm number three on round three. So three, three down, so 500 points pretty much we got there. Exactly 500 points. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Canals District. All right, so here we go, Canals District. I probably won't be able to do everything. Actually, yes, I actually will. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'm not going to... I'm going to get it done first. So we're going to go ahead, go into Beast Mode, hit these two things, quickly come over here. We're going to go ahead and zap that. And we got to grapple up here right away. I like to go to that far side just because it's closer to uh the 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 switch down there instead of having to run back and there we go so we have the uh the item opened up here the cops badge opened up now we don't have any more beast modes left which is totally okay because we don't really need that right away go ahead and take these guys out there we go and we're going to go ahead and open up the rift so now we had just have enough points if you don't have enough points relax it's okay you can go ahead take a round 
and uh, you can just get enough points to open up this door and then leave one zombie at the end of round four or whatever round you're on. And then what you want to do is uh, come over here and we're going to go ahead and do our final ritual, which is round three and we have all of the rituals done. And uh, uh, if you need Jug during this process, because right there, I could just easily down. So if you do need Jug during this process, you know, don't feel bad for getting Jug. But uh, I just like to get those rituals done at ASAP. And because uh, it, it's just so annoying. You just want to get it done right from the beginning. So as you can see, there we go, you know, round three and we have all of the rituals done. So now we can focus on getting perks and getting weapons so we can get to the higher round. So there we go. Got our fourth and final gate worm. We're just going to go ahead and take out this Margwa. And plus, it's going to give us some extra points, which is awesome. Go ahead and take out his first head. And uh, we'll just wait here for a second so we can just take this guy out. Don't worry, guys. I'll show you how to kill him. It's just really easy. Just... There you go. You should, you should have him dead by the time he gets down here. All right. I got to kill these flies. And look at that. I haven't even bought a weapon yet. So make sure you get that fumigator just because you can get free weapons from it and that's always nice getting free guns and it's going to save you points so you can open up doors uh all right we'll go ahead and grab that nuke so what we're going to do now is uh if you want to buy a gun you can go ahead and do that and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down here into the rift and uh, i'm going to buy the vesper and uh, i'll leave a zombie at the end of this round and we're going to go ahead and do some more things uh, to uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up this pack a bunch and uh, We'll start working on getting some perks as well So once you leave a zombie here on round four What you want to do is you want to go ahead and plates down all the gate worms open up the pack a bunch And as you can see I have a good amount of points So what we're really gonna do this round is we're gonna go ahead and get some perks uh, And we're gonna go ahead and we'll turn some perks on and get some perks as well and now i'm going to go uh, screw that guy he can talk as much as he wants what i want to do right here and here is i want to go ahead and get widow's wine turned on because that's one of the perks we're going to be using so turn widow's wine on come up here zap a mule kick then come up over here zap that and we didn't turn on stamina up at the beginning go ahead turn that on right now just so you have it on and there we go good now we got a margwa to deal with that's going to give us some more points so, where is he at? I just want to take down his first head. So he is a little bit fast because this zombie is kind of fast. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and... I don't even have any more beast mills left. Whatever. That sucks. That actually really does suck because we have a lot of points, but we can't do anything right now. Alright, I see how it is. Alright, so that's kind of fine because what we can do is we can just stock up points and we'll pretty much be set up on like round 5. Which is pretty insane. So I'll let the Margwa get over here. And uh, there you go. Margwa down. I got 6,000 points. I'll go ahead and kill the zombie and I'll use that double points next round. So uh, at the end of, ne end of next round, or end of this round I should say, I'm going to leave one zombie. And uh, I'll show you guys what to open up next and what perks to get in what specific order. So either round five or six, you'll get these flies. Right now I have it on round five. So it's really easy to leave just a couple of these guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, go into beast mode, and we're gonna go ahead and open up this right now. We're gonna get Jug turned on, and then we just wanna go ahead and open up this door right here. There we go, everything is good. Now we're gonna go ahead and go up the stairs, grab the shield part, which should be over here. And I always forget to get the shield parts when I go into each section. So if you remember, get them uh, as you're opening up each section. But what I like to do, I like to get it all at once. So there we go, we got Jug, uh, we got Quick Revive. And we're going to go ahead and grab Double Tap uh, 2.0. And then we're not going to have enough for Widow's Wine. Whenever you do have enough for Widow's Wine, you can go ahead and grab that. And I just want to get these shield parts picked up. Because the shield, it's really useful to have the shield, especially in the higher rounds. So the earlier you get the shield going, the better. Because, you, you know, if you get hit by the Margwa, that's going to help you out as well. So make sure you get the shield. So there we go. We got Double Tap now. Uh, here is the second part for the shield. Honestly, this is the best round to do stuff because these flies are 
they if you're moving all the time and you have jug they can't kill you and if you have like one or two left you can do so much and we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna grab the final shield part uh for the shield so we can get that crafted here and uh where is it where is the fun there it is there we go so what i like to do with the shield is i like to craft it in the canals district because it's really close to that uh, teleporter or the portal that goes into the rift area so i like to craft it over there you can craft it really wherever you want it's totally uh, and entirely up to you but i like to craft it over here so round five we have three perks we have the shield crafted now what i'm going to be working on is i want to get widow's wine of course and i want to get a secondary weapon because my wayne weapon of course is going to be the uh the wonder weapon and uh whatever weapon you want to use for your secondary uh i might go for the haymaker but really i, I switch out my secondary so much when i'm playing but it's entirely up to you so i'm gonna work on getting some weapons i'm gonna grab widow's wine and i'll be uh just playing for a couple of rounds here and i'll see you guys in the higher rounds when it's time to craft some more things so i quickly do want to mention one more thing as you guys can see right now it's, it's round seven and uh, i have uh, all of the perks all of the rituals done which is really nice just to get that done and out of the way and uh i, I thought i would talk about quickly what weapons that i'm gonna be going for as my secondary um i really want to try to get the haymaker haymaker is an amazing box weapon both for killing zombies and the margua that's that's the big thing you can get blast furnace on the haymaker and that's going to help you out in the higher rounds so i'd recommend trying to get the haymaker and uh if you can't get that the m8a7 is another great weapon to get um but just just gather points go to the box get the weapon you want as a secondary like i said i suggest getting the haymaker or the m8a7 and of course you can see i have widow's wine now and uh what you want to do of course is uh, just get the parts for the wonder weapon so don't open up any more pods now wait till they're purple and uh, once that happens don't worry guys I'll, I'll show you exactly what i like to do so i will again see you in the higher rounds all right guys so now it is the end of round 16 i have the haymaker upgraded with blast furnace is exactly what i want I'm going to be swapping out this ray gun right here for the uh, wonder weapon. So all I have to do is I have to uh, harvest these pods until I get the Margua tentacle. And then we'll pretty much be set up max ammo. I'll take that for my haymaker. And of course, I haven't touched these things in the longest time. I didn't get my Xenomatter until now. I don't want to get the nuke. I kind of hope that's not last guy back there. Yes, it is. I'm just going to do it mid-round, guys. I don't even care. Come on. All right, that's the bootlegger. We don't want the bootlegger. Harvest pod. Uh, that's the man of war. I don't want the man of war. So pretty much just keep harvesting these pods until you get the uh, uh, the Margot. Is this shit toxic? All right, guys. There we go. We finally got the Margot tentacle. I swear to God, that was the last pod on the map that I haven't harvested yet. And it took me that long just to get that tentacle. Sometimes my luck with that is really, really bad. And by the way, I quickly do want to mention that I am doing all of this live. You didn't realize that already. If, if sometimes I just kind of randomly cut off or something happens, I'm doing... I like to do these kinds of things live. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there. So we got all of the parts for the Wonder Weapon. So we're just going to go ahead and craft. You can craft it wherever you want you can do it here you can do it in the foot light district it really doesn't matter so i'm gonna go ahead and craft this bad boy real quick and that's it guys that, that that's all she wrote that's that's all you have to do as you can see i got the uh i got the wonder weapon i got the upgraded hay haymaker for taking out the margua also i have blast furnace on it so if i run out of ammo which i will with this thing in the higher rounds, the Blast Furnace is going to be super helpful for me. I have all my perks. I don't have a shield right now, but I have the shield crafted. And the only thing I'm really missing are the little Arnies. That's... 
That's the only thing that I could still possibly get. Uh, also, the swords, if you want to get that as well. I'm not crazy about the swords. You know, they're fun and co-op and all that stuff. But in solo, I, I really don't like going for the swords. Uh, but this here is my setting up guide in Black Ops 3 Zombies Shadows of Evil. This is what I like to do. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.